Hi friends, it's Miss Burden here for another story time today. Our book is A is for Mux Ox. We have a special narrator here to read the book to you, Mr. James. Woo! A is for Mux Ox is an alphabet book where the silly Mux Ox thinks every letter should be about him. But the other character, the zebra, has got a problem with it. I want you to listen closely to the story, see what kind of silly things the Mux Ox has to say, and see what your favorite part is. Hello, kids. Today we're going to be reading A is for Muck Socks by Aaron Kabatigan and Matthew Myers. Hey! Hey, you! Muck Socks! Did you do this? Did you eat that apple? Who, me? I can't remember. Don't lie. Your mouth is full of apple. Look, you're drooling apple juice. How could you do that? You ruined my book. Okay, so maybe I did eat it. But if I did, you should be thanking me. I didn't ruin your book. I saved it. Every other alphabet book starts with A is for apple. That's so boring. I think you should do something different. How about this? A is for muck socks. That doesn't make sense. Muck socks doesn't even start with an A. It doesn't even have an A in it. Look, I'm tired of starting with M. I'm always stuck in the middle with all those letters on both sides. Nobody remembers me. But Mux Ox does not start with an A. But Mux Oxen are awesome. Plus we live in the Arctic, which includes some of Alaska. Fine, you can have A. Let's just move on. B is for baby. Baby? Baby? Are you kidding me? Who wants to look at a stinking babies in dirty diapers? I think babies are cute. Not as cute as muck socks in. Here, let me fix that for you. B is for muck socks. That doesn't work. Muck ox doesn't start with B. But our fur is brown and black. It can also be white. But we're not at W yet. Fine, fine, take B. In fact, why don't you take C as well? Thank you, I will. C is for mux ox, because mux oxen are cool. Also, we live in Canada too. Just didn't mention that before because we were talking about A. D is for mux ox, because mux oxen are daring. And E is for mux ox, because mux oxen are elegant. F is for mux ox, because mux oxen have fur, and lots of it. Does the fur make me look fat? G is for mux ox because mux oxen eat grass and live in Greenland. H is for mux ox because mux oxen have horns and hooves and live in herds. I is for mux ox because mux oxen are tele, tele, intelligent. J is for Joseph. Well, at least Joseph starts with a J. I think the illustrator messed up, though. No, he didn't mess up. That's me. My name is Joseph. So really, J is for muck socks. K is for muck socks because muck oxen are cool. Now, wait just a minute. You can't do that. First of all, you already used cool. And second of all, you do not spell cool with a K. Well, you could. No, you could not. Could. Couldn't. Okay, fine. Have K too. Thanks, dude. K is for mux ox because mux oxen like to kick with anyone who disagrees with them. L is for mux ox because mux oxen like lollipops, but only if they're grass flavored. Are lollipops ever grass flavored? No. What's your point? M is for apple. Wait just a minute. Why is an M for muck socks? M should be for muck socks. Muck ox starts with M. Well, I kind of felt bad about what happened back at the beginning of the book, so I figured the apple could have my spot. But apple doesn't start with M. Well, it's in the middle of the apple. That's called the apple core, not the apple middle. Fine then. I munched the apple. Plus, it was a... 
Macintosh. So there. In is for muck socks. Because muck oxen are nice. Yeah, right. O is for muck socks because Eskimos call muck oxen a mean muck, which means the animal with skin like a beard. P is for wolf because wolves are party poopers. Are you just saying that because wolves like to eat muck oxen? Maybe. Q is for muck socks. Because the soft underwool of a mux ox is called quivet. That stuff keeps us warm in temperatures down to 50 degrees below zero. <sighs> R is for mux ox because mux oxen form rings. I'm really excited about this one. See, when a wolf is trying to eat one of us, we mux oxen form a ring with all the calves in the middle. I like to see a wolf get past this ring of horns. S is for muck socks because muck oxen have skirts. No, 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 not that kind of skirt. Our long hair is sometimes called a skirt. T is for headache. What? I don't get it. Two male oxen, 25 miles per hour headbutts, 10, 12, sometimes 20 times. Yeah. That's a headache. Why do you do that? It's all for the ladies. U is for muck socks because mux oxen have underwear. You said that already. Well, what do you want me to say? Underwear? Some parents might not like that. V is for muck socks because mux oxen are very... Very what? Very awesome, very cool, very attractive. You can pick. W is for muck socks, because mux oxen lived when woolly mammoths were alive. X is for muck socks, because mux oxen look totally cool in x-rays. Don't you think that's stretching it a bit? Well, it's not like we go around playing xylophones or anything. Y is for muck socks, because you would yell and yip. If you are being chased by a rampaging muck sox, that's your yonder, my younger sister. Z is for zebra. Finally, we agree on something. Not really. I just wanted to use this picture of you. What? Where did you get that? That's not me. You know that's not me. That's uh, my sister. Yeah, that's, that's my sister. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, and Z. Now you know why this book is cool. It's because Mux Oxen Rule. All done. Uh